Hey guys, it's Tuesday. I'm excited to welcome you to my messy working space. Um, working today on my beaded earrings. It's hard to say that this is wire wrapping. It just very um, beginning project, I guess. Because anybody can do it, just simply use your wire and any beads you want. So I want to share some that I did today. This will be new pair. I'm also working on a green one. So what I do is just a measurement here basically <laughs> and the beads because I use I see beads a lot now in my work too. So these are 11 O. A lot of people ask. Um, that was in one of the pairs. In this pair and also in this pair I use 11 O. Sorry, off the camera. Um, so I use 22 gauge wire. Before I use it, you can use your... Um, nylon pliers or something or even better to hammer with your plastic uh, or rubber mallet because we want to work hard in the wire a little bit so it will hold the shape and i will hammer only this part from here to here so we just keep hammering from here to here uh, several times, you know, so you will feel it when the wire is really stiff uh, and feel like it's perfect for creating earrings, you will start doing them. So the measurement is, those are five, over five inches, not even five and a half, it's plenty. And for the beads, I won't put beads because you guys know how it's like too much work to too long. It's two and a half inches of the beads. And what I did is I just, when I decide what colors I want, I just simply wire wrap each from the left few wraps, cut from the right and from the left both sides on the on the main wire here and same here you can see you can see that when i started i start from here make two wraps cut then i put the other one overlap and two wraps and done and that will be our main strip that we do earrings from so what we do is now we gently follow our round object and I like to use pliers so this part I pushed be careful so do not damage the beads so what we do is like that I like I also push one up same with this one and then when they join I just simply make one wrap or two just to secure it and then when you take it out from the from the object you can continue to do some of the wraps uh, I tried to also do it twisting together because you can also twist that and when you twist that then later you can use it for your wrap loop here just make sure that you do them the same way both of them a little more hard than when it's twisted because this first one I did not twist so I just try to twist because I wanted this to be A little bit you know I just wanted to spread them out so that's what I was plan planning to make one pair 
that this spreads out, not sitting perfectly like this. But it's up to you. When you hammer nicely your piece and work hard in, it should hold the play, uh, shape. It's very simple, definitely for the beginners. And after that, you just use your French hooks and you will have beaded earrings. Depends how you want. I, I just saw some earrings on, online with like spread it. Um, I like that. I like that. And I also like when they join together. You can, if you wanted to, them for sure to stay together, you can wire wrap around with a thinner gauge. It will be not nice too. Very simple project today. I have to go to my school. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching. And I hope that next Tuesday we'll have more time to just play with my wires. Um, I did the triangle the other day. I have to show it's completely not related to this video, but I thought it's so cute. So that's my piece that I finished um, before. I like how it's have, it has the iodine, the beads, it's sterling silver, and I create some extension here for the little loops and put a lot of beads in there will be cute as earrings too i think i think we have one on the, on my channel i did before with this shape but i just never did anything like on the bottom here but i like it guys i hope you you enjoy watching and create some colorful earrings thanks for watching i will see you next tuesday